Hambit, and I'm a pastry chef from Korea. Hi everybody, it's Hamid here. 안녕하세요, 조한빛입니다. Today, I'll show you how to make an amazing creme brulee seen right here. It only requires five ingredients, so it's super easy and it's delicious. Creme brulee is basically a custard pudding and you usually add vanilla, which I'm going to do today. What makes creme brulee so good is that you cover it with sugar and you caramelize it by blowtorching it. And that's the fun aspect when you're eating a creme brulee because you have to crack that top and you serve it with the soft pudding below. The ingredients are so simple for a creme brulee. You only have five ingredients. Egg yolks, sugar, milk, and heavy cream, and a bit of vanilla. That's it, just five ingredients. I'm first going to start by scraping the vanilla bean. And I'm going to add this to the milk. It doesn't matter if you add it to the heavy cream. I'm going to add both heavy cream and the milk into the saucepan and boil it. Right, I'm now going to add the milk and the heavy cream and a bit of sugar into the saucepan and bring it to a boil. So that's milk with the vanilla seeds. Heavy cream. And just half the sugar, just eyeball it. I'm going to bring this to a boil and while I'm heating this up, I'm going to work on my eggs. I'm going to add the egg yolk and the sugar into the bowl and whisk. Sugar. Right, so my vanilla milk and heavy cream has come to a boil. I'm going to cover it up with cling film, so the vanilla is going to be completely infused. Have you clicked like and subscribe? Right, the temperature has dropped below 60 degrees Celsius, so I'm now going to pour it into my egg sugar mixture. And this is a process called tempering. I'm tempering my eggs, well, egg yolks in this case. And I've waited for my milk and heavy cream to drop below 60 degrees Celsius because if it's too hot, you're not actually tempering the eggs, but you're cooking the eggs. So that's tempering done. I'm going to put it through a sieve and then pour it into my ramekins. Right, so I'm now going to pour my creme brulee batter into the ramekins. But before I do that, I just want to mention a couple of points. First is that when you're pouring in your batter into the ramekins, make sure you stir it because you have a lot of vanilla seeds on the bottom. Also, I'm going to use a water bath or a bain-marie to cook my creme brulee today. And when I'm doing that, I've placed a piece of cloth or you can also use a paper towel at the bottom because that will prevent my ramekins from floating around. So I'm going to stir it. And the final step before this goes into the oven is that you want to pop the air bubbles because the air bubbles will create a rough surface and I want a very smooth surface. So my creme brulee has been baked nicely. I've taken it out of the bain-marie and when it's hot and straight out of the oven, it's a bit wiggly, as you can see. And that's how it should be. I'm going to let it cool down completely and put it in the fridge to set. The creme brulee has been in the fridge for at least six hours, so it's completely set. And now it's the fun part where I'm going to cover it with sugar and blow towards it. I'm going to cover it with plenty of sugar. I'm going to torch it twice. You want the surface to be torched evenly and that's what makes it look nice. Now this is the second time I'm covering it with sugar. Right, that's 
all done. There's actually no rule to how much sugar you should cover the creme brulee with. So that's completely up to you. Oh yes, and one important thing to remember when serving the creme brulee is that you need to do the final step, the sugar torching, right before serving. Because if you do that beforehand and leave it for like half an hour or an hour, what's going to happen is that the custard beneath has a lot of moisture and that's going to seep through the kind of hardened caramel and it'll just become soggy. Finally, I'm going to try my amazing creme brulee and this is the best part because I'm cracking the caramel on top. Wow, look at that. Look at that. Mm. That vanilla custard is really good. And with that crunch from the caramel, it's fantastic. Hope you've enjoyed the creme brulee video today. It's really simple to make, so please try it. The only hassle is the water bath or the bain-marie, but it's not that difficult after all, and it tastes delicious and it's fantastic. I'm thinking of working on variations of the creme brulee. So for example, rather than the standard vanilla creme brulee, I'll add some fruit puree and I'll see how that goes. So when I perfect my recipe, I'll share them with you. So until then, thank you very much. Come to Amiga. I'm trying to tell you